Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna start a quick series of videos, hopefully quick because you'll see in a minute, series of videos here on the channel because I haven't been making myself make videos during this whole shelter in place thing that we've been going through for the last couple of months. Series that I'm going to call my weird quarantine purchases. Not necessarily weird, but just the things that I normally probably would not have bought outside of quarantine. Not that my family is in quarantine, we haven't been sick, we've been very lucky. Anyway, I've got a few items that I've purchased during this whole Whole process. Just put it this way, I get to a point when I'm looking at something online, it's like, I need this. And then I obsess over it for like a week or two weeks and then eventually end up buying it. Usually that's a piece of technology. Usually it's like a camera, a phone, a laptop, something. Today it's not. Today it's this. And I did mention this in the previous video, but again, it's been sitting here since March. So this is the Homedics UV Clean Portable Sanitizer Bag. When I purchased this, I was actually in the market for something like a phone soap. It's one of these items you plug in, you leave on a table, you put your phone in it, you close it up, and it uses UV lights to sanitize it. Those were completely unavailable when I started looking. I think they may still be unavailable, but I've seen some generics, some knockoffs that are like 50 bucks on Amazon. This little guy was a hundred bucks on Amazon when I bought it, and it still is to this day. And I'm curious to see if it does anything, what, if anything, it does, how it works, and so on. So what is this portable sanitizer bag, you might be asking? It says it kills up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses on all of these kinds of things. So your phone, your car keys, your sunglasses, your scissors, your hemostats, whatever you happen to have, I guess, uses UVC technology to kill up to 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. Ultra portable, has interchangeable clips to use for both your phone and other items. There's a bigger picture on the back. Some of the things that it kills, dirty airports, kill that dirty airport, uh, a coworker sneeze, bathroom breaks, E. coli bacteria, your next cold. So presumably it could kill the coronavirus, maybe? I've actually been seeing several videos about things like ozone instead of UV. And that's a really interesting topic in my opinion. Naomi Wu actually put out a video just a couple of days ago talking about putting ozone into water and putting it into a powered sink that you could put outside your door so that delivery people and people passing by would be able to like wash their hands without having to use soap. Obviously not something you're gonna wanna do for a phone. I saw another video talking about using ozone but it was like sterilizing to the touch so you could put your keys down on something and it was using an ozone generator on a surface. I'll try to link those videos down below just so you can see them, but for this video, this is what I'm gonna be looking at and talking about, and just to be that kind of person that thinks that they're sciencey when they're really not, I did actually go on Amazon and I found some of these guys. It does immediately appear that at least one of them is probably tainted, but that's okay because there's a lot of them. Make that two of them are tainted, no three. Crap, I should have done this a month ago. Anyway, I think there's enough of them in here to do tests with. They're not Petri dishes, but they're kind of the next best thing. Found them on Amazon, relatively inexpensive. It's the Amazing Bacteria Science Kit. Agar kit, that's what they called it. Relatively inexpensive, it comes with swabbers and some liquid and the plan as far as I can see it is that I would like to swab down my phone, put it on the dish, leave it for a couple of days and see what grows put the phone into this guy, swab it afterwards, and see what the difference looks like. Anyway, I've wasted too much time. I've been talking for five minutes already. Gosh, what is in this box? Silica gel, do not eat, throw this away, stop. Oh, okay, sorry, gotta go guys. Kidding, stupid joke. Quick start guide and limited warranty instruction manual, warranty info and so on. And also what looks like a USB cable, micro USB, presumably for charging. This bag is not a toy, but there, is the device. There is the sanitizer, portable sanitizer. Looking at the quick start guide here, it looks like this little opening at the end is where the charging port should be. That's a little awkward, but okay. So you have a micro USB port sticking out right here. Luckily with my new whiteboard desk here, I do have a couple of USB ports, so I think I can go ahead and plug this in. The quick start guide does mention takes two to three hours for a full charge. By the way, this is portable in the sense that it has a battery in it that can power all of it, so you don't always have to be plugged into the wall. Whereas with some of the other devices, you'd have to, but basically plug it in to charge it, unzip it, place your phone in the center for larger items, place directly on the clip holder, zip it back up, make sure the zipper pull is positioned magnetically on in the on position, figure five, magnetic on position, okay. Squeeze the home medics button to turn on. When it turns off, sanitization is complete. There's also some LED indicators. I'll just kind of hold this up here if you want to pause and see any of that and see it in French. Get this plugged in though, very handy. I went to Amazon, spent 20 bucks on a two AC outlet for a USB port setup that I can just stick into the hole in the desk. It means that I can plug in things when I need to. Very handy. Go ahead and plug that in. There you go. You can see it does have a flashing green light at the moment. Unzip this. 
all the way and look inside. It's got a very interesting feel to it. Feels kind of like a, a cooler bag. I, I did a review of a cooler bag a while back, not a review, just kind of initial impressions, but that's what the inside, the, the insulated feeling was like. There's a sticker here I missed. It says, place zipper here to operate. Okay. So apparently there is a magnetic zipper, as I mentioned. If you can see it down there in the bottom, there are some warnings all the way down the inside. Do not irradiate eyes and skin directly. Do not use with zipper open. Tissue, the outside is 100% polyester fabric. So all of this on the outside. It is definitely a very nice feeling fabric. And it did come with a couple of clips as well as this little stand. So let's go ahead and clip some of these inside. And there you go. That's kind of what it will look like. And I suppose at this point, I will go ahead and swab my phone. I did break out a couple of these plates. I am not a scientist. I don't know what I'm doing, but I want to see if this at least works. Just looking at them ahead of time, the plates are perfectly clear. Anything is like, it's on the case. It's not the actual growth or anything. I've got some liquid, presumably some saline, a little dropper, a little pipette. So I'm going to put a drop or two on the phone and then kind of swirl it around. Some swabs and stuff to swab it into. Try to keep things as sterile as possible, but that's kind of been life for the last few months is let's see how clean and how sterile we can make everything and how badly we can fail at it. Sorry. All right, so I got a drop on there. Not touched anything else. Swab this around just on the middle of the screen of my phone and kind of all around. We'll do some lines in here. Oh, I'm messing it up. Make a little box. I am definitely doing a bad job, but you know what? If this fails, I'll just cut this out. If this completely fails, I may not even finish the video, but we'll go ahead and store this upside down. Wipe the screen of the phone off to get whatever that was off of there. And I'm gonna stick this down in here. It does fit snugly in there. By the way, I do have the iPhone 11. I don't have the Pro or the Pro Max or anything. So this is the one right in the middle. Looks like there's a little bit extra room. I guess if you had the Max, it would fit in there. Let's zip it up, see if it works. So this did magnetically clip right on there. You see it's got a little spot it can fit to with the Homedics logo facing out. And we'll see if it turns on. I definitely didn't wait for hours. I just went ahead and unplugged it, held the button for a second, and now it's flashing blue. So presumably the light is on in there. We'll just give it a minute, let it do its thing, leave it standing up, leave it alone. Well, that wasn't very long. It looked like it was about a minute. It's not flashing anymore. So let's open it up and I'm gonna go ahead, not touch the screen or anything, do the same thing again. So I'll put a drop right here in the middle, doing my best not to touch anything, swirl it around a little bit. And then in this plate, Mess that one up too. So yeah, you can definitely see I've scraped all these up pretty badly. I am no scientist. I went to school for computer science, not biological science. And I'm just gonna assume that I didn't quite get a long enough charge on this. Obviously I spent like 10 minutes or less with it charging. So I'm going to let it charge and let it sit here. I'm going to put both of these into a place where they will be like warm and at a room temperature. I think they're supposed to be as warm as like 85 degrees and I don't have a spot like that in my home. So I'll do what I can. We'll put them someplace kind of warm and we'll come back and revisit this in a couple of days. If I see that nothing's happening with these or if I see that they're doing the same thing, I will definitely come back and try it again. I have more plates I can try it with before I wrap the video up. And I'll try not to mess up the agar and the other ones. Anyway, we'll be back sometime. And we're back a little over two months later. Apologies for any confusion. The beginning of this video was filmed back in May. It's now the beginning of July because I've tested this thing multiple times. I tried the different agar plates that I showed earlier several different ways. Here you can see that first set that I was testing. There's not a whole lot to be seen there. And just getting them up close and personal, you can see that they're basically identical, probably because I was doing something wrong, quite likely because the plates that I got were just a bad batch or they were damaged in shipping or something. So I did this multiple times. Second set of plates. I've labeled these B and A before and after. You can see not a whole lot of anything going on in this set. And I did another set, which as you can see, turned out kind of badly. The before had absolutely nothing, the after, has this large mold spot growing on it. Part of the reason I wanna go ahead and finish this video up was so that I can throw this away. But with that last one, I actually did two befores and the after, and the befores both, again, didn't have much of anything. Get it up nice and close, you can see a little bit of something, but it was just inconsistent. So I'm guessing that I had a bad set of plates, but of all of these plates, there was really not a whole lot that was conclusive one way or the other. I did at one point actually take a little action camera and stick inside of here just to see if it was able to see anything. And of course the footage, there was nothing. It was very dark. There was like 
like one tiny little segment where I was able to see a very light blue light. So apparently something was going on in there, but it's very hard to tell. And it's hard to tell if this is even doing anything because the testing that I was able to do was not successful. Realistically, now that we're two months farther along, these things are in ready supply. They're a hundred bucks every day on Amazon. Phone soap, I don't think is back in stock anywhere. There's a different version of the home medics one that's more like the home soap. And then there's a million and 12 generic other ones you can get from China through Amazon. So I'll put links to where you can find some of these things down below if you're interested in it. I know hand sanitization, device sanitization, sanitizing anything and everything you can is definitely still as important as it was when I started this two plus months ago. And I will keep this and I will continue to use it. You know, whenever I go out, I'll bring my phone back in, my car keys back in because something is better than nothing. I don't believe that this is introducing anything bad to the devices. And the best case scenario is that it's sterilizing and removing some of the bad things off of your devices. So that's where I'll leave it. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified when new videos come out. I realize it's been almost a month since I've put anything out. I've been rearranging things. As you can probably tell, the office is in a slightly different state, better state in my opinion, and a lot more stuff to come. So be on the lookout for that again. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to get notified when those videos do come out because I've got a lot of stuff in the works. I've got like 12 videos that I've started and not completed that I'm going to try to complete. So thanks again. I keep saying that, but thanks so much for supporting the channel, for sticking around for all these years. I'll see you again next time. Bye, guys.